learning at home and doing the homework as well. So my dear students, welcome back for the today's class. Today we will start with the subject computer and we will continue our chapter 1 with the part 2. Okay? So we are starting with the chapter 1, part 2 and what is the chapter's name? Computer memory. Okay, so you have to take out your computer textbook and in that open page number 6. Now on page number 6 you can see this topic ROM that is read only memory. So my dear students before understanding this topic what we have done in the earlier class? Yes, we have understood about the computer memory. Right? And after that we have seen the types of memory. And in, the, in that First one we have start the primary memory. Okay, so in primary memory there are two parts, RAM and ROM. So about RAM we have understood in our previous class. So in our today's class we will continue with the ROM that is read only memory. So let's start understanding this topic. Read only memory that is ROM is a permanent memory. Read only memory is a permanent memory. Students, if we compare it to RAM, RAM was a volatile memory, but this ROM is a permanent memory. Permanent means you cannot remove it, right? The information stored in ROM remains intact even after shutting down the computer. Now, the information you have stored in this ROM, okay, it remains intact. It is there only. You cannot delete that. Even after shutting down the computer. Unlike RAM, the information stored in a ROM cannot be modified or deleted. Students, if you want to change something, right? In RAM, you can modify it, right? Modify means up to be changes kar sakte ho. But in ROM, we cannot do any modification or nor we can delete it. Okay, see. Unlike RAM, the information stored in a ROM cannot be modified or deleted. Here modified means up room we could be save kar rahe ho, so you cannot modify it. That means if you want to change something, you cannot do that in room nor you can delete it. Right? See here in the picture you can see this is the room chip. Itta chota sa jo aapko dikh raha hai, this is a room chip. Okay? See here this one. Okay? So this room is there, you know, it's fit karke rakhte hai, computer mein, okay, and it cannot be altered there after, altered means aap is chip ko nikal nahi sakte after that, okay, the information stored in room cannot be accessed very fast, if you want any information from room, so it takes, uh, it takes so much of time, okay, it doesn't work very fast, Unlike RAM, RAM is a good information, chahiye, so we can get that very fast. But in ROM, we cannot get any information fastly. Okay? In other words, the information stored in ROM can be read slowly compared to the information stored in RAM. Okay? If we want any information, if we want to read up any information from ROM, we can read it slowly compared to RAM. Okay? Friends, the normal DVDs which you use to play games and watch cartoon films is known as DVD ROM. So my dear students, when you are watching any game, okay, playing any game, watching any cartoon films, okay, so that DVD that you are getting now, that is known as DVD ROM. That means digital versatile disc read only memory. That means you can only see that information provided by the DVD. Okay, you cannot make any changes in them. Right? The reason is that the information written on such a DVD cannot be erased or modified. 
जो आपके पास वो डीवीडी है डीवीडी रोम ओके दैट इज मींस दैट कैन नॉट बी इरेज नॉट मॉडिफाइड आप जो वो डीवीडी लाते हो उसमें कुछ भी चेंजेस नहीं कर सकते आप उसमें से कोई इंफॉर्मेशन डिलीट भी नहीं कर सकते नेदर यू कैन चेंज इट ओके देयर आर सच डीवीडीज अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट व्हिच लेटर्स इरेज और मॉडिफाई इट्स कंटेंट एंड नोन एज डीवीडी आरडब्ल्यू ओके सो दैट इज डिजिटल वर्सेस टाइल दिस rewritable okay so in the market if you want to change something information okay so such type of dvds are available in the market and that is known as dvd rw okay so that is digital version that is rewritable instead of dvd rom okay so this was about the rom okay and we have understood till now up to primary memory okay so in our next class we will continue with the secondary memory have a nice day students